well, on episode two of Yo, Best Gay, we have a uh, man out of the UK being accused of a hate crime for not fucking with a man. I'm not doing this trans woman shit with y'all, all right? Let's just clear that up now. I won't be doing that. This is a man. Now, this man looking ass man has accused this other man of a hate crime. Says here, I'm reporting this as a hate crime. It's like calling someone who is black the N word. It doesn't matter if they have a cock or not. Now, listen. We don't get more into this story, but let's just get this on this. First of all, you trans, uh, so-called trans motherfuckers will stop trying to use racism and the negative experiences of black people to find your commonality in the world of oppression. You have your own battles. You have your own narrative. Use your own motherfucking shit, you delusional bitch ass bitch motherfuckers that was like a double bitch I don't know what I just got I got mad so I had to double it up bitch ass bitch motherfuckers you know use your own shit like what the fuck you don't have to try to come in here and compare your shit with black folks shit and this is coming from a colonizer ass man a delusional colonizer who decided to be a colonizing hoe and say it. And want to say it the same as a black person being called an N-word, a nigger, which really isn't viewed as a hate crime. Anyway, white folk call black folk niggas all the time, all over videos and all types of shit. It's what they're doing, not being charged with hate crimes for doing such. You bitch. Not saying they should be. These motherfucking uh, uh, colonizing racist bitches need to be punched in the goddamn face. You see. This is my, you know, my logic. Now, we're going to read on more in this story. Long story short, a photographer was flirting with a transsexual and was promoting career help but had no idea that Rhea had male genitalia. AKA is a man. What the fuck? This is this is but this is what makes my head hurt with these motherfuckers. You don't just have male genitalia, you're a man. That's what makes you a motherfucking man. What are you talking about? Then when the photographer found out, the quite natural, uh, natural thought, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, let me see, make sure I'm reading this right. He quite naturally thought better of the idea. In 2019, that apparently qualifies as a hate crime. Ain't that trash? This is trash. Happening in the UK. This bitch right here. Why would any man knowingly a heterosexual man knowingly want to fuck with another man with a wig on we went through the same fuckery with uh gay ass malik yoba i wasn't doing the series then but his ass would have been a star <laughs> he would have been a motherfucking shining star on yo that's gay I don't understand these motherfuckers. That's a man. In 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 anywhere, what, what the word homosexual means is same sex, not same what you perceive as your sexuality or no no no. It's a matter of genitalia. I was watching some shit on the um, Breakfast Club a while back. This was back when this shit came out. They had you know some gay motherfuckers on there, and they were trying to justify how. Uh, uh, a person's genitalia shouldn't be the focus. That's everything. 
What the fuck you mean that shouldn't be the focus? That's everything. If I am one with dick, I am a man. I cannot lay with another with dick and we be some, you know, heterosexual couple or even view it as such. That's homosexual. That's what it is. Same sex. It doesn't matter about your fucking identity. It matters about biology. I don't understand why this is so confusing to motherfuckers. It doesn't make sense to me. There should be no confusion in the matter. You got a dick. You land with somebody with a dick. Somebody that had a dick. You gay. Easy. Two pussies gay. Cut your dick off. You got a pussy now. You with a, a, a woman gay. Man knew you had a dick at some point. Cut your dick off and turn it into a pussy. He's still gay. All gay. That's fuck. And I'm not going to be uh, bamboozled into thinking otherwise. This is basic shit to me. If y'all motherfuckers are women so much, let's try putting your bitch ass on an island with the gay niggas that's attracted to you and see what happens to that population on that island in 20 years. 30 years. 40 years. Generationally, you all die. Because that's what homo homosexuality equals death. Very simple. This isn't a, uh, uh, trying to come at these motherfuckers uh, on no extra shit. This is simple, easy. Let's put your bitch ass on an island with the motherfuckers that's attracted to you and see what happens. See what happens to the people that inhabit this island. Dead in one goddamn generation. That's just how it is. No matter how you try to remix your organs, add titties, and then, you know, look at this motherfucker. Look at him. Please. What the fuck? What's wrong with the motherfucking photographer that even saw anything attractive about this? Are you serious? Man ass face? Motherfucker with a wig on? Stop. And then I saw it was like a, um, it was actually Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish has this shit on um, Netflix called They Ready. You know, spoofing off of when she says she ready and her ever so uh, ghettoized uh, mannerisms. Uh, she has a They Ready. And one of her uh, comics is a trans, uh, a so-called trans, because I'm going to make sure I say so-called. So-called trans woman. Man basically a man who does the full get up I forget the motherfuckers name exactly but he does a bit where he is tricking a heterosexual man into giving him some money but his fear is he gonna find out that he got a dick these trans motherfuckers will play these goddamn games play these games and act like somebody cool with the game now what if this photographer ran up on the situation found the dick and then killed this motherfucker another oh the lord trans lives matter what bitch stop lying y'all it's causing motherfuckers to go through trauma and then when something happened to one of you motherfuckers trans lives matter what about the lies told to get to that point the games played to get to that point. The misleadings that got to that point. Y'all should tell people, I got a dick. I bought the wig. Simple, if they can't tell anyway. I don't see, when I see these motherfuckers, I don't understand how you get confused. I don't get it fully. There's nothing about any one of these motherfuckers that I've seen that be like, oh shit, that's, man, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't know until I felt the dick. Like, no, there's a whole lot of shit before dick feel 
before the discovery of dick that is an issue that you should be able to tell unless you a Malik Yoba ass nigga who just like that shit you gay you got to deal with the fact that you gay there's no such thing as I'm attracted to trans women that, that, that's, that's a, a fallacy statement that's a delusional statement you're attracted to men with wigs on i.e. you gay simple you know this is this is to me I, I i don't understand why there's so much confusion yo simple to me because you still fucking with a man so you know the fact that we are in a society that facilitates this you know behavior and facilitates this delusion of these motherfuckers this person should be laughed the fuck out over in the UK. Now I don't know how they get it in in the UK. I don't know how they get it in over there. But this is a worldwide delusion that these trans, uh, uh, so-called trans men have. There's a delusion going on here. And ain't no straight man uh, uh, laying up with, with your ass. It's just not going to happen. That's not how you're not going to bully heterosexuals into laying up what you like is cool like they not gay that's some gay shit now they can come out and say well i'm gay and okay cool cool but the fact that a trans so-called trans man is a hate crime for somebody not wanting to fuck with them because they know they got a dick what, what the fuck is that that's gay as fuck what the fuck? They want people that's not gay to be gay to make them feel better. What? Y'all got motherfuckers out here that do that for you. Call on Malik. He can be uh, the spokesman for this motherfucking bullshit. This new movement. But motherfuckers ain't doing that shit with y'all. Yo! And they know I'm out here now. Especially now that I'm out here. These motherfuckers might need to tighten the fuck up because I'm not going to let this shit slide. You see? No, you gay. And I don't care, you know, and, and probably when I upload this shit to YouTube, they may delete it or some shit like that. If they do, I'll just put it up on my goddamn Instagram. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. They did the same shit with the video I made about a uh, uh, bitch ass uh, Billy Porter signed up to play the goddamn fairy godmother in a Cinderella or some shit. I, one of these goddamn stories where an imaginary bitch is necessary. But. Same shit they did with that. They may do that to that. It may do that to this video as well. That'll be fine. What needs to happen, and they may suspend me, I don't know. But what needs to happen is y'all follow me on Instagram. Links in the description box if you were following me before. That page is deleted. I've told y'all that more than once. That page has since then been deleted. Because Instagram don't want you niggas fucking around having pride. They don't want no parts of that. They don't want y'all to see the world for what it is. They want y'all to fall under these constant delusion and propaganda so follow my new instagram page the link is in the description box at team rob 2 send me a request if you have zero pictures zero posts and a thousand followers and 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 then i'm not going to i don't care just don't waste your time i'm not going to accept you and i don't give a damn how you feel about it i gotta try to you know protect my shit best i can i can't fuck with y'all weird ass fucking pages and profiles all right this shit right here is gay as fuck. The fact that they are using it and calling it a goddamn hate crime is ridiculous. The fact that this gay motherfucker, this delusional, uh, suffering from body dysmorphia ass motherfucker decided to compare it to black people being called niggers by racist is some bullshit. But they will use not just these colonizing bitches. Uh, the black delusional suffering from body dysmorphia motherfuckers do the same ass shit LGBTQ all these motherfuckers do the same shit the same exact shit so understand that don't be confused by it don't you know we, we don't try to keep it on wax with these motherfuckers because again they are delusional so they are trying to use any argument possible to normalize this abnormal fucked up ass weirdo ass behavior but we not falling for it over here if you Malik Yoba you gay 
point blank, plain and simple. There is no such thing as being into trans women. You're into men. Deal with that reality. And stop playing these fucking games. That's all the fuck I want to say. Episode 2 of Yo! That's gay. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.